What is up, guys? We are back with a new segment of what we're calling Going For It, uh, our football podcast here on the Junk Drawer Show. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sat down with Craig this week and we talked all things quarterbacks in the NFL. Uh, this, of course, is prior to Carson Wentz being traded because naturally we're a jinx. But I hope you guys enjoy everything anyway. Uh, check out the segments and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, Something that we've predicted correctly, and I, I want to kind of draw some some lines to this, so this might go a little longer than than I had anticipated. But oh, and I'll go because um, as you noticed, I it's love it. Just <laughs> getting lower. This is the level of it. I'm in Gal Gadot space. Have you you seen are in Gal Gadot space. Dresses. Yes. Well, I'm she's there. stunning. You are. Well, I'm you're you're here. A different way. <laughs> Don't put this on YouTube. <laughs> um, the downfall of the New England Patriots was long overdue for many. Loved it. Um, especially someone who's been in in a division with them for a very long time. Had to eat it every time. Yep. Even when we and. Were- what so first of all, what did that mean to you as a Dolphin fan, seeing Bill Belichick lose more games than he won? I uh, absolutely loved it. It also the year of the player is what it is, right? The year of the player, whether it was the contract negotiations or players taking ownership of their likeness and really trying to realize they're bigger than the league, and then Billy don't do so good when he didn't have Tommy. So. While I think Belichick's a great coach, I am not, I, I'm not trying to say he's not. I think he was exposed as a harsh word. It, it sounds harsh, but he was exposed as not the reason. Part of the reason, sure, but exposed as not the reason. You then have a Super Bowl that happens. Men are coming up to Tom at the end of the game. You can read their lips. They're tear up and they're saying, thank you. Mike Evans, who's a freaking thug idiot most of the time off the field, thanking this man. Tight ends, defensive players, coaches coming up. Never seen that before. Guys on the team, because he just showed up a couple months ago and said, guys, I think we could do something here. And then they did it. The argument is over. It was Tom. Bill was there. And that's valid. It's, he's an amazing coach. Was able to get the met most out of players like Gronk and Deion Branch. And you, you could – well, Gronk's a bad example to put next to Deion Branch. Gronk's a, a, a next-level Hall of Fame talent. The example I wanted to give is he was able to cultivate that craziness of Gronk into winning. He was able to take guys that didn't have elite talent – that's where I go to Deion Branch – and some of these other guys and turn them into Super Bowl MVPs. Sorry, I didn't mean to muddy that because those are apples and oranges. But that's true. Bill was good at that. Rein in your players, build a culture, a culture of winning. Tom's the reason. Sorry, the evidence it happened. You can't come back from that. Belichick is not going to win another title unless he goes and plays with someone elite at the position. If he just stays there. And they keep the Cam Newton, Stidham, or I'm good at drafting guys at the quarterback. You know what? We actually don't know if you are. You got lucky with Brady and then had a 20-year, very nice situation for yourself. Yeah, okay. Jimmy G was your example. It's good, not great. I don't trust. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. His coaching tree wins some stuff. There's some, it's happening. But he also has major nepotism going on, not at the Andy Reid level, but he's hiring all his children. And has that become a part of the dilution of the powers? Because as soon as Brady leaves and wins it, it proves a lot, is all I'm saying. It, It puts it on paper that Billy was good, Tommy's great. So with that, Cam Newton, we have been saying for, I think it's three years now, that maybe four. Cam Newton, it may be four, that Cam Newton is, he's done. Did you see anything of Cam Newton this year that made you go, well, maybe not? 
No. Uh, <laughs> the run, he's always been a talented runner. Okay. I don't want to take that away. But I saw a couple stat lines, and he's a he plays the quarterback position. I saw a couple stat lines where I think he had like under triple digit throwing yards, uh, under like an eighty six, and, and like <laughs> I don't think that's wrong. I, I mean, you'd have to have, you'd have to check me up. Oh, I'm I'm looking. Don't worry, as you as you speak. Uh, and and if that's true, it just solidifies it. Even if it's close to that, I didn't see a lot of good throws. Right, anytime he made a throw. And it was actually caught or put in a tight spot that I saw on NFL Red Zone because I was addicted to Red Zone this year. And another thing is I didn't see a lot because they weren't doing much. I saw a lot of running from him because they show you every touchdown. So I saw Cam runs in. Oh, yeah, okay, Cam runs in. Didn't really see a lot of Cam through that one. I'd love to know his touchdown count in the air last year and see if it's NFL starter quarterback level, which now is in the 30-plus or you win – Not so much. Well, I can tell you that there are, this season, one, two, three, four games under 100 yards throwing. Yikes! You like that? I kind of knew that. I I did. There is an 84-yard game. I said 86, though, but I, I had him on a fantasy team. That's the only reason I was so close on this. I was in that, uh, a, a league I don't care about, and I had him. In a bunch of weeks, he scored like 16 because he ran two touchdowns in. <laughs> but that means he had nothing else. Correct. There was literally no yardage on the ground even. They were goal line rushes. So, yeah, he's done, man. And I wanted to be high on him after he had a Quibi show, and rest in peace, Quibi, that was showing his workout ethic. And it's so good. But they even cut away from him throwing. And it was his own show. His yeah. own show cuts away from him throwing. I immediately was like, oh, Cam's ready to continue running. Continue. <laughs> the shoulder injury, man. It's like, it's, it's real. He doesn't want to talk about it. Other people seem to not want to talk about it. His arm can't go past here. It'd be like asking me. I have a, a, a junk, sh- junk shoulder and elbow. I can't really do the motion. Don't make me your quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> so he had four games where he was over, his quarterback rating was over 100. That means every other game this season, it was under 100. Yeah. Um, only threw for over 300 yards twice. What was the team? Never total? had, his touchdown total was eight. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> In the throwing? Eight. He ran for more than that, I believe. Yes. Ten interceptions. <laughs> well, good thing I wasn't building him up before you read the stats. Yeah, he's done. But but he's got a name and he can run. So if you're smart, right, if you're one of those savvy um, – and he proved he would play for low money. If you're one of those savvy coaches that has a guy that's like can make every throw but is a little brittle, you need to get Cam – and run the Taysom Hill, Drew Brees strat. You know what I'm saying? Because the danger of Cam is that he could certainly fake that run and go, huh, got you, and get one good one out. the real quarterback back out boom first downs you know and and it's cool because you could bring a dude like that in on a first down and second down and really mess with defenses all through the game you could have eight plays that you plan to use him on for the game but i don't know where he's at i don't know the man like that but boy he could be fucking successful at that 
And there are a few teams that could use it, right? And we'll see. But he's he's done as the traditional quarterback, to answer. You know, I like long-windedness. Done as the traditional quarterback. There's not a chance. Can't make the throws. So do you think with with Cam's time in, in New England most likely coming to an end, I do not think that there's going to be a, a reunion. I, I mean, it just it wouldn't make sense financially either. Do you think that if San Fran does move on from Jimmy G, that Jimmy G goes back to Boston? Cool storyline. Would love to see it. Let's belly try to say, no, I do know what I'm doing. If I could win games with this guy. Um, Cause he picked him. He didn't pick cam that way. He didn't draft cam. He, they drafted Jimmy G. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I, I, I'm not sold on Jimmy G. I know he's talented. I know he's literally one overthrow away from winning a Super Bowl. Um, doesn't mean he played excellent in that game. Evident by the eight yard overthrow to win the whole thing. <laughs> it wasn't a short overthrow. It was he. No, it was there was some distance. He, he threw the ball out of play. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like it. And it landed like at the out of bounds. Maybe I'm uh, imagining it wrong, but I was so flabbergasted that to win it all, an NFL quarterback had that moment. <laughs> to me, that was the fumble level. And I know yeah. it's not the same. I know it's a hard throw to make. Except you do it all the time. You literally run that drill all the time to drop it in the front of the end zone. Not the not the back. So whatever. Cool storyline. Don't think it gets either of them anywhere. I I agree. Bill, I, I don't I don't think I don't fortune. think I think Jimmy G was lightning in a bottle. Um and it and I do think he's got a place in that. 10 to 15 range of quarterback. Um, but I think you look at San Fran and if they're pining for a possible Matt Ryan trade to San Francisco. Another one that we didn't even touch on, but he's mo- he's probably moving. But if, if Matt Ryan is the elevated version of Jimmy Garoppolo, oh, it's really hard to, to make the argument that, that Jimmy G's Truly worth a damn. And he has a he has a contract for a few bucks. Somebody paid him. I think uh, not Francisco. a lot of guaranteed money though. Oh, true, true, true. So if they cut, I think if they cut him, they have like two million dead cap space. Oh, that's nothing. That's interesting. I wasn't even thinking about him. It's so many, so many good quarterback storylines this season. We are going to see new quarterbacks in places, a very young class coming in. Like I said, I think five of them are going to get a chance. Three of those are probably going to start friggin' week one, just like last year. You got a lot. Yeah, I don't know how you draft Trevor Lawrence and you don't start him. And if you move on, like, does Sam Darnold go to New England? Does Sam Darnold go to somewhere else that needs a quarter? You know, does San Francisco look at him and bring him home? And they're like, he can play here. We've seen it. Or, you know, there's, there's plenty of literally in this spot. 